I wanted to focus today's talk on pharmacology. This is something that a couple of people have been messaging me about. It was something that I personally struggled with in med school as well, so stay tuned. Oh, this you crazy mother! So I just wanted to preface this section by saying that I'm not sponsored by any of these. Uh, this is what I think works. It worked well for me and if you want to take this advice, you're welcome to take it. If you don't, it might not work for you. It's up to you. What helped me personally the most, um, and I kind of found this resource a little late in my medical studies and I wish I'd found it earlier because it would have made a huge difference, and that is Sketchy Farm. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what um, Sketchy Farm looks like. There's a consistent theme in all my pictures, which is that I've actually annotated whatever is written down here. I've bought it up to the picture, at least the main points, and I've also color coded. So, for example, I'll put all the drug names in pink, and then all the side effects in green, and all the mechanisms of actions in blue. And that way it's, I'm able to see the whole thing and I'm also able to categorize. The thing that really works well about Sketchy is that it gives you a way to remember the drug name. For example, this picture here um, is, shows a guy who's trying to catch a ball and he loses the ball. So it's like he lost the ball, it's supposed to be reminiscent of so lost is all. So, I mean, like, it's not the best example, but some of them, in some sketches, the names are kind of spelled out for you, and I think that does wonders. So Sketchy Farm, I would say, was the number one resource that, in the long term, really helped me remember not only drug names, but also mechanisms of action, and especially uh, side effects. The second resource that I used was the first aid notes. Sometimes I found that when you get into Sketchy, it does get into a lot of detail. It starts getting into the nitty gritty, the ion channels, the certain receptors, how it works, all the details, which is really good if you want to aim high. But sometimes if you think that you have the most or the gist of it all down and you just want to have a quick review, sometimes Sketchy Farm can actually slow you down because there's just so much detail. So for days when I just want to do a quick review or for days where I, or for if I want to um, just see if Sketchy Farm is missing some side effects or is missing some whatever, like pathophysiology or whatever, um, I will actually default to first aid. So what I did is I ripped out the pharmacology section per organ system. So like, I have it like this. So they, I've just stapled the individual organ systems and then I have them this way. So this allows me to have kind of a single glance um, look at the entire organ system and get a more global picture. Sketchy Farm was great for memorizing the nitty gritties the things that are really nuances to memorize and then first aid was really good in getting the overall picture and being able to quickly retest yourself just on the big picture just on the high yield topics hey guys so i was just editing the video uh, right now and i realized that i completely missed um, an important aspect of studying pharmacology i just covered the resources but not really study technique um, study technique for pharmacology is essentially the same as every other uh, topic in medicine, which is spaced repetition. For other um, categories like pathology, um, diagnostics, things like that, I used uh, Anki, uh, which is an online cue card system. Uh, I can make a video about that later. But for pharmacology, I, could, I thought it was uh, wasteful to create Anki cards. So my spaced repetition really just came from doing pharmacology questions. Um, where it was just like the more exposure I got the more I was forced to recall the images that I had memorized from Sketchy Farm and from First Aid um, and that was how I did it. Pharmacology is really tough to ha be able to memorize in one go. Um, I think a lot of things you can do that in, in fact like um, maybe a lot of uh, pathologies like a lot of conditions you can actually memorize on first go. Pharmacology on the other hand though because there's so much uh, involved there's so much information around every single drug that a single pass just doesn't cut it so with farm I just highly recommend that you space repetition and that you make sure that you keep questioning yourself on the drugs and that way it'll become more like smooth and slick on your tongue as well for when you mention the drug names you'll start not tripping, tripping or twisting your tongue kind of the way I was just now um, and I, I think that that's a good way to study pharmacology. Let me know if you guys uh, if there's anything specific that you guys want me to talk about next um, and I'll do that.